Hello, I am the Thousand Pound Pig, and this is going to be a weird video. This is a video basically talk about you guys, the commenters, the subscribers, the thumber uppers, thumber downers. I don't know, the favoriters. Uh, I don't know what I'll put in the background. Probably smite stuff, but I won't be talking about that much. Um, this channel has kind of turned into a smite channel, hasn't it? I didn't intend it to be. Like I keep saying, it is laggy for me and Smite. I don't really want to support the developer that much. I, I love Smite, but there's still no evidence of them even trying for an Oceanic server. But that's what this channel is. It's a lot of Smite stuff. But I also do other game stuff. I don't know if you've noticed. If you if you follow the Smite stuff, odds are you don't watch my my other stuff, my game reviews, my free game, free game reviews, and and other things like that. Which is fine, you can watch what you want. My smite stuff is probably the easiest stuff I make, while all the other stuff requires more planning. The guide kind of videos, that does take a while because I can't get the right kind of game sometimes. It's hard to get the right players to play with, show the right things, and of course my commentary isn't always the best each time. Like I probably have to play at least uh, eight times, and one of those times will be good to upload. With each match taking around 40 minutes, that's a long time. So I'm thinking I might need uh, an easy series, which I, d I don't like saying that, but it seems to be true. Like the med the Changi Meditation Challenge, the How to Get Pentakill, and the League Mode were all pretty easy to make, and I used those, and I made those when I was really busy at uni this semester. So I might bring one of those back, most likely the League Mode, because I don't think I can. I still don't think I can get a Pentakill again, and I I'm not really confident with Changi at the moment. Apart from that, I do really enjoy playing other games, other MMOs specifically, because I love the game worlds which people make, and I love all the different art styles, the different mechanics and stuff, but that stuff doesn't get viewed as much as my Smite stuff. Some people on YouTube, they just stick to what works, what gets the most views and stuff, but that doesn't make me happy. What makes me happy is challenging myself, which is actually a problem because I seem to challenge myself a bit too much, and then I'm just... I just get overwhelmed. Like at the moment, I'm planning one video ahead at the time. Like I used to have two weeks planned in advance, but now it's just next video, next video, next video, and I don't like that kind of stress. At the moment, my schedule has been three videos a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but the last two weeks, I've had to change that to two videos a week. I think that's mainly because I've been focusing so much on the quality, and it's been hard to get the content I've wanted, and a few other excuses, but... I need a yeah. I need um. I need an easy series to continue with, rather than just a lot of challenging stuff. And I want to raise that up to four videos a week. Would would you guys like to see more videos from me? What what do you want in it? Let me know, please. But I have enjoyed this. I've enjoyed making videos. The reason why I got into making videos was because I'm actually studying film at uni, and I have not always enjoyed editing. Well, no, that's not true. I have enjoyed editing, but I haven't been, um... I've always been scared of it just a bit, because it's always taken me a long time, and thankfully this... and that is kind of the reason why I got into YouTube, because I wanted to make videos fast and improve the quality step by step by step, and I have been. It's... I'm not at the stage yet which I'm totally fine with editing, like, I still rather avoid it. I like editing, but it's part of the creation. But that also brings up the question of should I monetize my stuff? Because if I monetize my stuff, I can actually schedule my videos to upload to upload and become public whenever I want them to, rather than, you know, staying awake and making it public exactly when I want. That kind of sucks for me. I rather all that happen automatically. So I might monetize my content. I don't really want to I don't really like the whole monetization thing on YouTube. It's very... A lot of great channels monetize and then their content changes and they do it just for the money. I don't want to do that. And I hope I, I never do turn into one of those. But as you can see on my channel page, I've reached 100 subscribers. At the moment, I've reached 104. I don't know how... I don't know if that will stay there for long. And there's a few people I would like to thank. First off, I would like to thank you. Whoever is watching this, the you know, like I said before, the commenters, subscribers, some of uppers, favorites, all that, uh, you really helped me. And you know, if I didn't get the views, maybe I wouldn't do this. Which, when I was starting out, it was really exciting just to say, oh wow, someone watched my video. Now I'm getting around at least 20 views a video, and I just 
I just love that. I like to see that I'm actually getting those people to watch that and people are actually enjoying it. I'm getting more thumbs up than thumbs down and that, that's really encouraging so thank you. There are two particular commenters I would like to thank, Victor Kovac and the Filipino. Thank you a lot. When I see that bell icon on YouTube light up and I see that there's a comment and I click on it and I see it's you guys, it's awesome. I love I love seeing the comments and especially when it's from you two guys at the moment. You seem to be the most the most regular commenters and it's great that you've stuck around and and you haven't just stuck around on the same video. You've you've been letting your opinion know it. I can make videos based on that. That's that's what I need. I would also like to thank some people who helped me make the channel, I guess. Uh, I'd thank Havimar. Havimar does my graphics. He doesn't do it as much as what he used to, but every now and then I, I run to him and I say, Havimar, I need some graphics, please. And sometimes he helps me, sometimes he doesn't. But he has helped me. He has he has taught me how to make graphics. And there's really nothing else I could really ask of him, so thank you, Havimar. And, of course, I better thank the guy I love to hate. The guy which pisses me off so much, which knows how to press my buttons. Uh, Dogwolf, I play with him a lot in Smite. He has helped me a lot promote my stuff. And I don't I don't like promoting my stuff. I, I do it every now and then, but, you know, he seems to have that shameless promotion side of him. <laughs> Even though it's my stuff, it, it helps a lot. I don't think the channel would have been so popular as it is at the moment. I mean, 100 subscribers in 6 months, I'm not saying that's fast, but for me, I'm quite pleased with it. And I think Dob was a big part of that, so thank you Dob, if you're listening. So what's happening in the future? A lot. A lot is happening in the future. Like I said, I do need to make some easier videos, most likely easier smite videos. I do want to keep challenging myself and keep doing guys because I do like those kind of guys. I like helping people. But as for the future, I want to do a lot more videos of other games. There's a new series that I'm going to come out with soon. It has a focus of MMOs. And I also want to do some more free game free reviews. And those are my most detailed videos which I edit a lot out of. And it requires me to do a lot of grinding. So I try to play those MMOs which currently have a friend playing. That helps encourage me to get through and usually play the long run. Even though the game might not be so good, I play with them and I learn about the game and it gives me a, a better impression of the game. So I can't really play that unless a friend plays that. So if you have, a, if you play an MMO a lot, please comment, let me know and I might be able to join you, make a review of it. The Pink Banner series, that will continue, but they take a bit of time to prepare. As you can see if you watch that stuff, most of it is live and I believe I am getting a lot better in those videos. But it depends on the game and the way I feel and how I feel the best way to present it is. Sometimes it's an adventure game, sometimes it can be a puzzle game, a platformer. So it, it's each video is quite different. I do believe my, my best videos are the ones I edit a lot. But being able to talk and commentate live, I think that's a very helpful skill. Even though I'm not the best commentator, I guess you could say. I'm not the best commentator at the moment, I believe it, I am getting better and that's all that really can happen. If I look back at my old videos, I can I notice things and I notice things have changed and yeah, practice makes perfect. There are other series I would like to come out with, with um, uh, kind of let's plays. I don't like the word let's plays because let's plays are usually really lazy. People just upload videos of them playing through a game, hardly any editing. I don't like that, that's kind of lazy. So yeah, the channel is a bit of a smart channel. I do want to keep up with the Smite stuff, that's that's with this channel, I think with 100 subscribers, probably 80% of you are Smite fans, so I don't want to let you guys down, there will always be Smite stuff if you hang around, but please know I do like playing other games, I can't always play Smite with over 300 ping all the time and not get fed up and annoyed with it. Other games I don't lag in, especially single player games and games with oceanic servers. But with all these new series coming out and with everything that has been shown so far, it really helps when people do comment, thumb up and favorite the video. I don't I don't like saying it at the end of every, every video even though a lot of YouTubers do, but it really does help. So please feel free to, you know, thumb up, favorite, comment. It really helps bring new viewers to the channel. I tend to stick to free games. I don't pay for a lot of games. Like I tend to stick to free games. Like in the last Steam sale I bought probably uh six really good games and it was all under seven dollars 
So I'm quite cheap, you know, I am a uni student, I don't spend much money, I stick to free games, that's probably why I like Smite so much. But, and that's another reason why I would like to monetize. If I could monetize stuff, then I could be more reliable, basically. I can start buying these games people are interested in. I can start being more reliable with my equipment. So yeah, I don't know when I will monetize, but I, I, I might have to soon. Mainly because of the schedule thing. It sounds like that would really help me out. But yeah, if there's a, if there's a video to comment and tell me how I'm doing or, you know, suggestions like what kind of stuff should I make? Should I make more smite stuff? Should I make more stuff which isn't smite? What should I do? Should I talk less? Should I talk more? Let me know, please, in the comments below. And hopefully we can keep growing and the quality can keep improving. And I'll see you next time.